Hello everyone. I am Ishwara Saxena, an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app, where you can find my other courses as well. In this lesson, we are going to discuss new words starting with alphabet H, and these lessons can help you out in improving your vocabulary and in clearing competitive exams wherein you have English as a subject. So please rate, review, and share this video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank so, as I have discussed in my introductory video, today we are going to talk about new words starting with alphabet H. First word that we have is haggle. It means an instance of intense argument. Example, after haggling for an hour, they agreed to a similar point. It means after having intense arguments for an hour, they finally agreed to a similar point. Next is halt. It means cause to stop. Example, the production process was halted due to strike. So, this means the production process was stopped due to strike. Next is hurried. It means troubled persistently. Example, she was unable to sleep because of being harried by bad dreams. So, this means she was unable to sleep because of being persistently troubled by bad dreams. So, it happens that sometimes we are not able to sleep because of bad dreams. Next is harrowing. It means causing extreme distress or tension. Example, the journey was really harrowing. It means the journey was really tiring or distressing. Next is hazen. It means to move faster. Example, the process hazened because of his efforts. So, the process became faster because of his efforts. Next is haughty. It means showing arrogant superiority. Example, his haughty and rude words made him face a lot of problems. So, which means his words which were full of arrogant superiority and rudeness made him face a lot of problems. Next is havoc. It means which causes violence and disturbance. And this term havoc is generally used for natural calamities like earthquake, storm, etc. Example, winds continued to wreak havoc and this led to the destruction of his house. So, winds continuously caused violence and disturbance and this led to the destruction of his house. Next is hearty. As we can see, it is a positive word containing heart. So, this means showing sincere friendliness. Example, he is truly a hearty as well as honest man. Which means he is truly a person showing sincere friendliness as well as honesty. Next is heave. Heave means to throw with great effort or great force. Example, 
I asked him to heave an old box lying on the table. So, it means I asked him to throw away an old box which was lying on the table. Next is Heckler. It is a person who tries to embarrass you by showing disagreement and objections. Example, I really feel sad when I realize that the world is full of hecklers. This means, I really feel sad when I realize that the world is full of people who try to embarrass others by showing disagreement or objections. Next word is heed. It means to pay attention. Example, you should pay heed to what your teachers say. So, you should pay attention to what your teachers say. This is what it means. Now, last word is Herculean. It means something that needs great efforts or strength. Example, thanks to her Herculean efforts which helped us to achieve this victory. So, it means thanks to her great efforts or her strength which helped us to achieve this victory or this goal. Well, this is all. But this is not the end as there could be a number of new words that you can go through and this will ultimately help you in building a strong vocabulary. So, please keep on learning new words so that you will be well aware of things and how they are used. So, whenever you are facing any competitive exams wherein you have English as a subject, you would be supposed to write the meaning of things or you would be supposed to write the words which have opposite meaning. So, in such situations, you will be able to attempt the questions only when you know the meanings as well as the application of words that are new to you. So, keep on trying these things so that you will be able to have a good knowledge of words. I hope I was clear with the topic. Thank you so much for watching.